disputed. Oh, 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal. There is no consensus of the ulama. 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal is not the, the birthday of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We say, okay, first of all, we will discuss that the majority, the Jamhur ulama believe 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal is the birthday of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, if you believe it's another day, you celebrate that day then. You believe it's a different day, you celebrate the different day then. If 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal, no. But that's the day when the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away. The Prophet died on that day. This is disrespecting the Prophet of Allah. That's how they say it on there. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away on that day. So what does that mean? We can't celebrate the birthday of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He passed away. Astaghfirullah Azim. That was the day when Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu was shedding tears. And these people are celebrating. Don't you, don't you feel for Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu? Don't you feel for Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu? Do you even believe in the feelings of Sayyidina Abu Bakr according to his death? If you believe the Prophet is dead, then according to you, Sayyidina Abu Bakr is also dead. Umar Farooq radiallahu ta'ala anhu is also dead. So why do you sympathize them now? Do you even know what's happening to them? What kind of a statement is that? Contradictions, contradictions. Everything they say is a contradiction. Why don't you feel for the pain of Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu? Yet you're celebrating on the day when the Prophet sallallahu passed away. First of all, you can't even prove that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa passed away on the 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal. Just for a debate, just for a discussion. We accept that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa passed away on the 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal. What happens in the month of Muharram? In the month of Muharram, when the Shiites, when they mourn the loss of Sayyidina Imam Hussein, what do we Sunnis say? We say we love Imam Hussein. We remember Imam Hussein. Yes, we do zikr of Imam Hussein. But we do not cry over Imam Hussein. We do not hit ourselves. We do not do matam. Why? Umirna an la nuhidda fawka thalasin. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, We have been ordered not to mourn the loss of those who have passed away for more than three days. This is a sahih hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the month of Muharram, we remember all of these ahadiths. And we mention these ahadiths against the Shiites. Why are you crying over Imam Hussein? That's what these people do, don't they? They speak against the Shiites. We speak against them on their practice also. We say, why do you cry over Imam Hussein? Why do you hit yourself in the remembrance of Imam Hussein? The Prophet said, you cannot mourn the loss, loss of a person who has passed away for more than three days. It is not permissible in Islam. This is a sahih hadith of Rasulullah Only a woman, she has to pass the Iddah period. She does so, she mourns the loss of her husband for more than three days. Other than that, you cannot cry over someone who has passed away more than three days. So when the Prophet ﷺ has passed away, it is haram upon us to cry over Rasulullah ﷺ. Huh? It is haram, it's not permissible. We are happy that the Prophet ﷺ came to this dunya. We celebrate the birth of Rasulullah ﷺ. Why? It's proven from the Quran. It's proven from the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's a hadith, 10 hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we do what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ordered us to do. And we stay away from that what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us to stay away from. He told us not to cry over him after he's passed away. So we don't do that. Yes, he told us to celebrate his birth. We do that. He did it himself. Do you see that? Clear the lie on there? This is why we say when they give the leave, come back to Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jamaa. And they say, if a date is not known, if you don't know the date, then, then you, shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't celebrate it. Well, do you know Laylatul Qadr? Laylatul Qadr. Stop searching for Laylatul Qadr because we don't know when it is. Huh? Don't do ibadah for the 10 days because we don't know when it is. 21st, 23rd, 25th, 20th, when it is, we do not. So leave all the dates. We say, most likely 27th, then most likely 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal.